Hello, my name is Dayu Nobori with University of Tsukuba, Japan. Today, we would like to talk with you about VPN Gate. This slide shows the introduction of VPN Gate. Uh, censorship firewalls restrict internet access. For example, Great Firewall of China is a well-known government firewall. Using relay servers is a popular way to bypass government firewalls. Public relays help people behind firewalls to access to the free internet. For example, public VPN services, open proxies, and Tor nodes are public available. However, there is an existing problem of public relays. The problem is that the censorship authority can easily find public relays and block them soon. In this picture, he is a user in China. This is the Chinese Great Firewall. <laughs> he cannot directly access to YouTube because the firewall blocks it. Then the user can somehow find the list of public VPN services and get an IP address and connect to a relay server, and he uh, now can browse YouTube. However, the Great Firewall also can have the latest list of public VPN servers, and they can block it very easily. The problem is even if he uses another server, it still remains because the authority can also this server to be blocked. Achieving blocking resistance is very difficult, according to research. So our goal of VPN gate is to make a public VPN system with strong blocking resistance against censorship firewalls. We have cho chosen the Great Firewall of China as the first primary target, because Great Firewall is the most advanced large-scale firewall in the world. This slide shows the VPN gate's approach. First, we organize thousands of volunteer relays in order to enforce authorities block all IP addresses. This slide shows how we organize volunteers. We created the VPN gate list server, which maintains the latest server list. The server list contains all IP addresses of running VPN gate relay servers, uh, hosted by thousands of volunteers. Each volunteer computer works, runs our little uh, relay programs, and each program registers itself to the server list. Then the user can get to the server list, choose one server, establish a VPN tunnel, and connect to the destination server. However, the problem is that the authority can also find the latest server list. The authority will block all IP addresses on the server list soon. This is a problem. So we need some kind of countermeasure to the authority's blocking. The first, uh, second technique is innocent IP mixing, mixing. This enforces authorities to probe all IP addresses in advance to insert all IP addresses into the firewall. This shows the innocent IP mixing. We can, at any time, very easily mix an IP address, innocent IP address. Innocent IP means that not related IP address to VPN gate. For example, we can mix a DNS root server's IP address in the server list very easily. Then we put server list into the server list, the authority downloads the server list, automatically insert all server IP addresses into the great firewall. Then what's happened? Um, entire domestic impact. <laughs> All any users from mainland will not be able to access this uh, innocent IP mixing mix. Another good example of innocent IP addresses are Windows update servers, <laughs> iTunes store servers, and Gmail mail exchange servers, vitally important servers. However, the authority has another countermeasure to our countermeasure. That is probing activities. The authority can send actual connection request packets to every candidate of IP addresses. Then after 
the response packet from actual running server will be received by the authority. Then the authority will identify this server as a positive server. After the authority detects it as a positive server, the only that case, the authority can block this IP address very safely. In contrast, the authority will send a connection request to an innocent IP, IP address. However, no response will be received by the authority. Then the authority will um, notice that this IP address is negative, and he will not block this IP address. That is a problem. So we need another countermeasure to their countermeasure. The third technique is collaborative spy detection technique which this allows authorities to complete the probing task. This shows the collaborative spy detection mechanism. The authority sends VPN connection requests. This is a probing task. However, the authority must have an IP address or IP addresses blocks as a source IP address to perform probing tasks. So we can somehow exchange information of source IP addresses of authorities to block such a probe packet. After we succeed to block such packet, the authority cannot uh, any longer um, distinguish which is positive servers, and authority must treat all servers as negative servers. That is our collaborative spy detection technique. Now we are going to talk about implementation. The problem is how to include the number of VPN volunteer servers. Installation of the relay program must be easy because it allows casual users to become volunteers. The relay program must support running behind NATs. So we implemented this VPN get server program. This is a dialog box of activation uh, and user Casual user can activate the relaying function of VPN gate by cl just clicking this checkbox and this OK button. This VPN gate server supports multiple VPN protocols, including L2TP, OpenVPN, Microsoft SSTP, and SSL VPN for user's convenience. And this multiple VPN protocol support is based on our another project, Softisa VPN server, available on this website as an open source. VPN get server also supports NAT traversal function. We created the dictionary, sorry, directory server, VPN get list server on our facility. It contains the IP addresses of running VPN get servers, country, IP address, status uptime, bandwidth, list of supported VPN protocols, and uh, a user can copy and paste this IP address into, for, for example, Windows, Mac OS, laptop, and smartphone, iPhone, Android, VPN clients in order to connect to this server. However, that copy and paste is very troublesome. So we implemented another VPN gate client specific for Windows. This allows users to click, to, one click to connect to the VPN server. We published this uh, background API, so any third parties can create VPN gate clients for, for example, smartphones. They are already developed by third parties. The left is for and, uh, iPhone and the right is for Android. Everyone can develop such software. We launched VPN gate on March 8, 2013 on this website. Now we are going to show the real response of Great Firewall Authority. After we started VPN gate, a few days they did nothing because these days are uh, their holidays. <laughs> However, they started blocking servers on the, our server list manually, copy and paste, copy and paste into the firewall. Two days later, they started the amazing automated crawler tools. Surprisingly, very quick response. The authority, authority's crawler tools behavior is to extract all IP addresses from our server list, insert them into the firewall automatically. 
This tool was written in Python. Why we did know Python? Because they forgot to hide user agent string <laughs> when access to our servers. And precisely, precisely five minutes, every five minutes from a single IP address. And uh, they have some IP addresses manipulating Amazon EC2 and Gorilla servers in the United States. It implies that the Great Firewall sometimes used to uh, foreign cloud services for probing. However, the interesting thing is that the Great Firewall Authority was trusting our server list at this time. It can, it can be said that we can insert, for example, Google public DNS quad eight IP address into the server list. Then the authority will insert all IP addresses automatically to the firewall. It caused uh, from a Chinese computer to that IP address is entire and unreachable problem. Um, this, this means that Great Firewall was under our control. <laughs> it means I can manipulate their block list from this laptop in my university. That was a um, very amazing moment in my life. However, uh, please note, this IP address, Google Public DNS, is not a real what we used. This is an, an, an example, and we did actually use another IP address for this experiment. Um, however, they noticed innocent IP address mixing of us, and once canceled all blockings, next week they started improved version of Python crawler with probing function, very quickly response. This slide shows our countermeasure to probing, collaborative spy detection, which avoids probing. They are VPN gate relay servers running. An authority send probing packets from IP addresses. We call these IP addresses as spy IP because they are spying our servers. Spy IP sends connect requests to a lot of servers in our server list. However, our every server has a function to record and transfer its connection logs to the central log server of us. We are running an analyzing program on the central log server to find out um, ab abnormal connection requests from a single IP or a very um, continuously IP address blocks from uh, seems to be a Chinese authority. And such a spy list, including um, suspicious IP addresses, will be distributed to all running servers. After that, all servers will ignore packets from the authority. So the analyzing program is very difficult, uh, sorry, very important to detect spies. It um, detects by, by looking source IP addresses matched to these conditions. Uh, please see our paper for more details. Evaluation. Um, collaborative spy detection technique works effectively. As, um, before we started this technique, and Chinese user must try five times to get a reachable server. However, after we started this technique, the percentage of VPN get servers uh, blocked by Great Firewall uh, significantly reduced. And in that time, a Chinese user need only try to one point time to get a reachable server from China. Around the time we finished the NSDI paper writing, Great Firewall stopped blocking against Great, uh, VPN Gate suddenly. So why Great Firewall stopped blocking VPN gate? We do not know the exact reason. However, in August, we had 6,000 daily unique server IP addresses in the world, and 40% of them as um, 17,000 new IP addresses per week, uh, every, every day uh, new IP addresses. So it might cause, it might reach the capacity of Great Firewall. 
or great firewall engineers exhausted to block us. Great firewall decided to close their eyes to VPN gate. This slide shows the number of active VPN gate servers approaching to 7,000 7, servers. It's comparable to the servers of Tor. This slide shows the number of daily unique client IP addresses worldwide. It implies the number of unique users, 400,000 users a day, and it's also including. We have 32,000 daily unique clients from China. Not so large number. Um, however, it's uh, comparable, uh, it's uh, 30 times, 13 times to Tor users. Not only China, but also Iran has a censorship firewall. We have a comparable number of users from Iran. Not only Iran, North Korea has a university and the university can access to the internet. They are using VPN gate to access to the free internet. The number of, uh, so, sorry, the total bandwidth of VPN gate all servers is approaching to 3 gigabps. It's very expensive if we set up such a relay system in data center. However, we pay nothing to volunteers, so this system can achieve such a large bandwidth for a lot of users. Finally, um, I'm going to talk about discussion and conclusion. First, a comparison between Tor and VPN gate. The similar number of uh, relay servers between Tor and VPN gate. However, the number of users from China, VPN gate has a large number while Tor has a small number. We have um, VPN gate have the um, VPN tunneling function to support TCP, UDP, ICMP packets transmission while Tor supports only port farting, they support only TCP at def by default. Tor has multi hops, so Tor is an anonymizer, while we are a single hop, we are not an anonymizer. Tor has limited firewall resistance, while we have strong firewall resistance. Sorry. Um, in conclusion, VPN gate adopted the combination of three techniques. First, Employ a large number of IP addresses with, with frequency changing by volunteer system. Second, enforce the sensor to probe all IP addresses in advance to block by innocent IP mixing technique. Third, make the sensor difficult to perform probing by collaborative spy detection. They might be help, that might be help for developers for creating something to prevent uh, firewall censorship. I think that this research is interesting because people help oversee people. China is a great country. The great country has the great firewall. <laughs> there are people in censored internet. However, China has uh, many neighbor countries who are in free internet. Such people in free internet can provide their computer as a, as a relay server or VPN gate to help people in censored internet. That will certainly promote the friendship between Chinese people, uh, other censored countries people to our neighbor, neighbor countries people. Um, we did not violate any laws in Japan. We <laughs> conducted all studies, research, and implementation for VPN gate in, only in Japan. Finally, VPN gate is actually based on Software VPN, another project of us, which is an open source VPN software with 400,000 lines in C language. Uh, percentage of VPN gate is just 5%, while 95% are, sorry, uh, are software sub VPN. These programs, uh, source code, are available on GitHub. Please download the source code if you will be interested. Thank you.
uh, Aaron Gember, University of Wisconsin. Hi. Very excellent talk. Thank you. Uh, I'm curious how many different uh, spy I or how many different IPs from the authority were you seeing attempting to do this probing? Ah, uh, good question. Um, according to our research, um, wait a moment. <coughs> this one. Uh, uh, this is the number of discovered spy IP addresses uh, from the authorities, and it implies that they they have a lot of classy IP address blocks. Uh, for example, in March, and they have 2,700 classy IP addresses. However, the important thing is that they are re reusing this uh, source IP addresses for a long time. They have probably a fixed, a very discrete IP address blocks for probing tasks. I found it a very exciting result. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Hi, Matt Hi. from Princeton. Uh, great talk. Thank uh, you. I have a question. How do you prevent uh, the firewall blocking access to the list of servers? A uh, very good question. A user, as you mentioned, a user cannot access to our server list after the firewall blocks the server list. So we created another mechanism to help such people. Um, wait a moment. We created two techniques. They are described in our paper. However, in this slide, um, the, Sorry. We provide the latest server list in two forms. The first is HTML table. The second is API. And the, of course, the Chinese user cannot access to the server list directly uh, because the Great Firewall blocks these accesses. So we implemented the relay function for such a communication to all VPN gate relay servers. And an user can download uh, latest server list via such a relay servers easily by using mirror server function and indirect server list transfer protocol, which are implemented in our VPN gate client. Thank you. Hi. John Howell, Microsoft Hi. Research. Um, so what's the next move for the Great Firewall? It seems like they could take a page out of your book um, and, and you, you showed the slide of how many IPs they're actually using, but it seems like they could play the same game with innocent IP blocking and send their requests from all over the inside of, of the uh, firewall to make you uh, treat every uh, probe or every, every VPN request as if it were one of the, the, the probes and then re start rejecting them. Um, very difficult to predict the future of this cat and mouse game between sure. us and the authority. However, the, there is a limitation what the authority can perform to Chinese users because in, in the current Chinese users are using internet as a um, daily work and the uh, disturb disturbment, disturbing their activities will be a very big problem in that country. So the, I think that they, uh, the authority will uh, uh, very hesitate to do something over the probing tasks in, in, uh, at the current time, I, I, I suppose. Well, congratulations on being the cat in the cat and mouse game. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so you, uh, you were able to actually poison the, uh, the Great Firewall uh, blocking list. Yeah. What if they poison your server list? So you said that anybody can download and install your client, right? So what if China just buy like 50,000 uh, EC2 you know, instances and just install your client and then become a server, uh, but they actually just, just drop your packets? So they become sort of a black hole. Um, do, you, do you know what I mean? Uh, sorry, I, I did not. Um, so he's talking about oh. Ah, I, I see. Uh, of course, <laughs> any authority, censorship authority, can 
create a fake VPN servers on our server list. However, there are a lot of servers available for a user, so a user can choose a preferred server by try and error, try and error sometimes. And the user will finally get to the reachable server at the last time. So I think um, making a pretending servers by authority is not, a, not so a large problem. Thank you, by the way. Thank you. You're a great film fighter. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I, I, this is more a question about the firewall behavior rather than your your solution. So I was wondering, first of all, do they do any DPI? Hi, uh, uh, API. D DPI. Do they do deep packet deep packet inspection? Ah, uh, okay, I know. DPI. They they are not doing DPI. Let me ex uh, describe about that uh, a little time. Wait, wait a moment. According to research, Great Firewall of China has three techniques to block packets. First, the, the, uh, they are doing a um, block, block list IP addresses and uh, send a fake TCP reset packet. That is not a DPI. The second, they have a um, DNS reply poisoning technique. That is not a DPI. And the third technique is they are using IP address entire block listing. That is implemented as a um, BGP4 black hole routers. However, um, be, uh, the, because of the capacity problem, th the authority cannot employ the firewall with DPI function to support a large number of Chinese users. So I suppose they do not have a DPI function in their firewall. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, let's thank, you. thank you so much.